This video is brought to you by Zarkin Productions, an umbrella group composed of over 10 shows, and an archive of over 5,000 videos covering a wide variety of topics. Please go to zarkin.com for a complete listing of video links, social media feeds, and opportunities to support our content. Thank you for your time, and may I present another Zarkin production. Well, geez, welcome everybody to HCW SmackDown, those that know, I am very excited to know that HCW's SmackDown is back in the air, the feeling is back in the air, the adrenaline is back in the air, HCW is back, and so is the Demon King DK Bala. But tonight, as you can see, I don't have my face paint and I don't have all that good stuff. Tonight, I am excited because the feeling of the electricity is in the air. HCW is back. And you know what? So is to next week, the HCW Royal Rumble. We're on the road to the biggest pay-per-view of a lifetime. Eyes on the prize. HCW's Wrestle Mania, and I gotta say, I am feeling, I, I'm just feeling fantastic tonight, you know, the, the, the new me, the, the, the new year, it's a new start of HCW, and I gotta say, tonight, there's just so much adrenaline in the air, and so much love, and so much passion, that I just feel like celebrating with all you guys here tonight, and say, you can kiss that heel goodbye because this is a book, a new star. I gotta say, a new start. 
to Dave Wyatt, that guy, man, he may be back around sometime, but right now, I want to focus on something that I need to get off my chest. And you know, it, it, it's, it's just, I think that's what needs to happen. So, I mean, it just, it feels good to have love back in the air because we have been having so much negativity lately and it's just, it's time to bring the love back, HCW, it's time to bring the goodness and just, it's just got to have the love, you know, that, that's what it's got to be about. And speaking of negativity, ah, what does this guy want? Okay, his theme song plays, but he doesn't come out. There's something going on back there that I don't know about. I see my brother's theme song play. He is at my promo. The negativity. Come on now. What? Really? You interrupt my promo just for you to... So you can sit here and interrupt me while I'm doing something and interacting with the crowd. Come on, Killer Cross. You got something to say, come out here and say it. I was doing real good. I had a good feeling, a good verb going on. And you interrupt me with your theme song. So you must have something to say. You got something to say, then, then, then come out here and say it. Don't just hide in, in the back. Come out here and say something.
You know, DK, you're right. There is a lot of great love and feeling in the air, but there's something missing that I just wanted to get off my chest. You see, there's just something about you that has changed lately. I I've seen hate. I've seen just something out of you that just all of a sudden now you just, you changed. You know, I, I just, I feel like you and I could start over. I feel like you and I could just be maybe friends again, you know, and, and just family, just brothers, and and not fight all the time. What do you say, Dave? Take my hand and, and just start over? What do you say? Be a family again. We can just put this whole mall stuff behind us. And, and just live our lives and then just start over and just just be a family again. What do you say? You know, kill a... Yeah, yeah. You had me going for a minute. You just, you had me going with the whole starting over. And then when you brought up Molly, you just killed the good verb, man. Like, I, I just, I feel like you're playing me right now. Are you for real or are you freaking playing me? Because I know Royal Rumble's next week and you're just trying to get in my head and you're just trying to, trying to get me to lose focus on something that I want. And that's the HCW Universal title held by Bray Wyatt. And better yet, next week, I get a shot at Texas's title before Bray Wyatt. And I plan on taking two titles. But I feel like you're just trying to slow my verb down. I feel like you're just coming at me with negativity and you're just coming at me with, with stuff that. Yeah, DK, you're right. You're nothing more than a little slime who really, really, it just pissing me off. So at the Royal Rumble, in one week, watch your back, DK, because there's a lot of people coming for your ass. And I promise you, you may just not make it there next week. Good luck. I'll see you soon. <laughs> I kinda had a feeling that was gonna happen. Damn! Here yeah, I thought he could start over, shake my hand, but instead, we're still being the same Killer Cross that I know. That's fine, Killer Cross. I'll see you next week.
I love you too. Gentlemen, as we have our first match ever about to get underway here, it'll be Le Lone Wolf taking on Mr. Gold here in the first opening contest of our SmackDown program. Making his way to the ring first from Hollywood, California. At a height of 5'6", 235 pounds, he is made of all 24 karat gold. From Hollywood, California, Mr. Gold Lich Boy. Mr. Gold on his way out here tonight in HCW SmackDown. Gonna take on Lone Wolf. As next week marks HCW's Royal Rumble. This is the biggest night of history. A lot of these guys have been training very hard. And that's what it's all about. It's training hard, working that opportunity and that is just what everybody is gunning for is WrestleMania ticket. Once they punch their holes in the WrestleMania ticket, that is what everybody guns for and that is what they want. And making his way to the ring next from the Wolf Cave at a height of 5'6", 245 pounds, Lone Wolf! Lone Wolf on his way out next. We haven't seen Lone Wolf here in HCW in a while. No, I'm not a writer. Okay. Lone Wolf and Gold looking at each other. The referee just rings the bell. Here we go. These two looking at each other, sizing up. They lock up. Lone shoving, Mr. Gold shoving Lone three to the ground. Where are we going in this matchup? Hicks Lone up. And Lone backed up away from the lockup and takes out the knee of gold. I don't strike ya. Lone now taking the frustration out. I missed the gold. And a leg drop by Lone. And now picking him up. 
I bet he, I heard the clock, but I fear. Gold. I may be hurting after that move. Our gold is not gonna have any of that as he's like back on loan with those combo punches. And a kick to the gut. Oh, just threw that paymaker straight to the face. Just straight up punches, drone. Cover one, two, and kick out by Lone Wolf. And wow, look at that Hurricane by Mr. Gold. And now he picks him up. Oh, gold breaking back with a pedigree. Lone, cover one, two, three, Lone Wolf picked up the victory over the return of Mr. Gold. Damn, I thought Gold was actually going to be victorious here tonight, but, but Lone just straight up just annihilated. Now wait a minute. Lone climbing the top rope, he's not done! What is he doing here? Come on Lone, save it for WrestleMania! I mean, save it for the Royal Rumble next week! You can get him there! You don't have to end him now, they won't even make the Royal Rumble! Jesus, flying elbow drop from all the way across the ring rope! And just laid out! Jeez! Wow, Lone already wins and just straight up flying elbow drop. And then just straight up tight as the gold is in the ring, just straight up just says, that's why I'm the best. Wow, Lone just straight up disrespecting Mr. Gold in that matchup. That's just, come on now. You don't just sit here and just straight up attack somebody after the match is over. That's just, that's not cool. That's just not cool. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are getting closer and closer to the start of the second matchup as we have been word that Dark Alley is in the house, but we also have word that there is some weird stuff going on in the back. I mean, absolutely weird stuff because this, I have been getting weird, creepy messages all week. Of this, some sort of new Wyatt member has been basically just been blowing up my phone every week saying that she's coming for Molly. And nobody knows who this mystery Wyatt member is, but she has just been constantly targeting Molly, saying that she is going to debut tonight, she is going to come for Molly, and it, Molly has nowhere to run, nowhere to hide, and she might as well just grab a blanket and go hide under the bed. That is what the words have been tweeting all over Twitter here tonight. Nobody knows who this mystery opponent really is, so this is just... I mean, I, I'm kind of scared to know who this person is. I'm kind of scared to find out who this person really is. I mean, I'm just, I, I, I just, I don't know what to say about what is going on because the fact of the matter is that we have been seeing this person 
over and over again on Facebook, over and over again on Twitter, social media, and that's just, just so much buzzing going on that nobody knows what's going on and who this person is. But ladies and gentlemen, the newest roster of HCW, she is at a height of 5'2", from Hollywood, California. I give you Doc Ellie! Doc Ellie making her way to the ring. And Doc Ellie, the newest member of HCW here tonight. For those that do not know, Ellie punched her ticket into WrestleMania. She already has won. A guaranteed number one title opportunity against the winner of her choosing. And if she wins here tonight, she guarantees a shot at Eyes on the Prize against whether it be Molly later tonight or Hit Girl. So Dark Alley is the newest number one contender if she wins here tonight. But the question is, who is her opponent? Who is Dark Alley going up against? Because nobody knows exactly who these mystery uh, symbols have been showing up lately. All over Facebook, all over Twitter. And, and just, there's been too much scary, bloated messages of satanic symbols all across Facebook saying, wake up. Nobody knows who this person is. Why is she blowing HCW's phones up and saying that she is coming for Molly and this is just getting way out of control nobody knows who this person really is and I'm telling you right now I'm getting a little worried on who this person is because there's just been too much how can I say too much stuff going on There's been way too much stuff in HCW to know exactly what and why. Why on earth is these creepy messages showing up? And why are we seeing all this creepy satanic symbols? As Dark Alley is still out in the ring. And it's just, I'm kind of getting creeped out to know what is going on right now. And it's just, um, I really don't know what is, just, is going on. And the lights are going out now. What is, is, what is going on here? What is, what the hell, who is this? Who the? What the? Who the hell? Singing the the whole world. There is a creepy girl on the type of time. Who the hell is this? Wait a minute. The assets you don't think. No, 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 no. That can't be her. She was dead. We're born. What the?
cattivo che sfide strange what the god What the? Who the hell? Stand alone. The world beneath your feet. Who the hell is this woman? She is crazy! Wait a minute. What the? Sit the ab of no way. Sit the ab of you? In the wild? What? No way! Ah, uh, Molly? What the? You might wanna run! Oh my god!
Wow. What a quick, quick matchup. Doc Alley lays out the newest roster member, HCW's very own sister Abigail, has just been put to rest by Doc Alley, the newest, and she has earned and pumped her ticket to face Molly at HCW Eyes on the Prize. If Molly beats Hit Girl later on tonight, that should be definitely something interesting. As Dark Alley, quick as she came in, just picked up the victory in the quickest HCW matchup here tonight against the debut of Sister Abigail. Wow. I I really thought Sister Abigail was going to pull off the victory on that one, but apparently Dark Alley had other plans, and Sister Abigail did not reign supreme in her debut here tonight. That is, the biggest question is, Sister Abigail is supposed to be in the Royal Rumble next week, but will she get her guard up and actually throw some people over the rope, or will we see a new HCW number one contender. That is the simple question on everybody's mind. As ladies and gentlemen, we have the main event coming up next where the special guest referee of that match will be DK. It'll be Hit Girl taking on Molly with special guest referee DK in the matchup. Well, ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring first. He is the special guest referee for this matchup. He is from... Lee, New Hampshire, at a height of 5'6", 231 pounds. The 8th CW's very own... Dave Cure! As DK making his way to the ring first as he is the special guest referee for this main event. The Women's Championship, Molly Holly Killer, taking on I'm going to be taking on Hit Girl here in the main event. And the HCW's very own youngest at an age of 17, the youngest HCW's woman champion, but unfortunately she is no longer wearing the mask and the superhero. They call her Hit Girl, and ladies and gentlemen, she goes by the name now as 
Show Monty! The youngest HCW woman champion at age 17. Hit Girl no longer wears the costume. That's right. She lost the match a, a couple months ago where she had to expose her identity. And that is exactly what happened, ladies and gentlemen. As now Hit Girl stepping into the square circle to take on Molly here tonight. The main event of the evening, Hit Girl takes on Molly Killer. Is Molly going to be the new champion of HCW? That's what we're going to find out here tonight. Is if And her opponent, at a height of 5'5", five, five, 245 pounds, the baddest bitch on our planet, Molly Holly Killer! Molly Holly Killer stepping into the ring, looks determined as she will ever be. The question is, will Molly be the new HCW Women's Champion. That is what everybody is questioning. This is the main event. This is what everybody is talking about. The buzz of what everything is about to happen. Hit girl with the title. As DK is trying to get the title away from Hit Girl.
and the title under DK, now DK knows exactly as he has the title, backs up away from these two. The girl comes to the front. Molly's looking at Hiko. Big guy is different. DK looks at these two. Rings the bell. These two are on the way. They lock up. Molly locks up with her girl. Seven her girl to the ground. Her girl now stands over as Molly picks her up. Slap across the face. Power bomb by Molly. Picks her back up. And pounds away on Hiko. And DK standing over her like it's all legal. And a DDT. And now Mario goes for the cover. One, two count by DK, and a two only. Here girl gets the shoulder up. A nice even count there by DK. DK doing everything by the rules. Following by the rules here tonight. That's good to see a new change in DK. DK after followed by the rules, and here girl hitting the up. And takes out the leg of Mary, a chop block. Picking her up. Left body punch by hit girl. And a right body punch by hit girl. A big boot by hit girl. Hit girl down for the cover. One, two, and a kick out by Molly. DK doing a very terrific job in the referee and calling everything down the middle. Doing everything by the book. Hit girl starting to lose a little bit of momentum in this matchup. Molly's starting to get up. Oh, a header Carolina by Molly. Look at that move. Molly with a hair of Carolina. Now that is a new move by Molly. I've never seen Molly pull off the high flying stuff like Finn Balor does. Or should I say like DK does. 
And I wow, swinging net breaker by Molly. Molly could very well be the new woman champion here. She is pulling out all the stuff. She's actually doing pretty damn good here. And the cover of one, two, and a kick out again by Hito. And DK is actually following the rules here tonight. And now Hicko gets up. Oh, a vicious knee by Hicko to the ribs of Molly. Molly will feel that one in the morning. And she picks her up. And a suplex by Echo. Echo going for the cover. One, two, and another kick out by Molly. DK is doing everything by the playbook. Following the rules, that's always a good thing to have a referee following by the rules. A nice job by DK. DK is circling the ring just to make sure these two are actually okay. Checks in on Molly, she looks okay even though she's grabbing the eye a little bit. A little bit of damage by Hitler standing over Molly like this is my ring. And she picks her up. And an eye atomic by Hicko. Sidewalk slam by Hicko. And a lights out by Hicko. Hicko straight up just stuck a punch Molly in the face and here we go another cover. One, two, and a kick out again by Molly. Molly is all business here tonight. Even though she is getting her ass kicked inside that ring, she is all business. She is doing everything she can to, and she slowly gets back to her feet here. She is doing everything she can against against Hicko, and Hicko is a tough contender, and she is starting to lose momentum, and Molly picks up on it. She shoves Hicko straight to the ground like, this, this is my house. And now Molly picking Hicko up. And Molly with a sidewalk slam of her own. Molly could very well be the newest HCW woman champion here. She is pulling out all the stuff against Hicko with a DDT by Molly. Molly is doing awesome. Come back strong against Hicko and picking her up now. Here in the main event, Molly with another sidewalk slam to Hicko. Could we see a new woman champion? Could we actually see a new woman champion here? And the color. One. Two. And Molly actually left the shoulder up. I don't know if that was on purpose. But Molly just, just literally picked up the shoulder on that. Is, is Molly not done? Molly must not be done with her. And she picks her up now. 
Another five walk slam! And we have the Universal Champion in the house, Bray Wyatt. Here in this main event, checking out the action as Molly could be the newest member of the... of the, uh... HCW's newest champion here. And a big boot by Molly! Molly just laid out the champion with a big boot! And picks her up! And a right old punch, sucker punch right to the face of the champion! That could be it, ladies and gentlemen! One, two, three, ladies and gentlemen, Jim New, ACW's woman champion! Molly Holy Cow! Holy Cow! History has been made in ACW SmackDown! Molly Holy Cow is the newest ACW Woman Champion! And now I think DK is backing up as he knows Molly is saying, I told you little girl! Wow, ladies and gentlemen, I never thought I'd see the day that the 17-year-old hit girl who has had that title longer than anybody be defeated here tonight. Holy cow. There is going to be a lot of buzz circling around in the air. Because, ladies and gentlemen, we have just been informed that Molly Holly Kara had just literally laid out the HCW's woman champion here tonight. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, how about that? Molly Holly Kara, the newest HCW's woman champion going into the HCW Royal Rumble. Wow, I, I just, I'm speechless right now. I am absolutely speechless. Ladies and gentlemen, how about that? Soak in the air tonight. A new champion has been crowned. A DK walking to the back. And that can only mean one thing. As we have word, Bray Wyatt is in the house. I'm not sure if Bray is going to say something or not. But let's listen in because Bray Wyatt is supposed to be going up against Finn Balor at WrestleMania. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been told that DK challenge will challenge Bray Wyatt if DK wins the Royal Rumble. So this should be interesting to hear what Bray Wyatt has to say before the end of SmackDown here tonight. Congratulations, Molly. You won. You're the new champion. <laughs> but Sister Abigail will be your worst nightmare. Run! Whoa. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just told who summoned Sister Abigail. Bray awoke Sister Abigail. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, as Sister Abigail is on the TV again. What is going on? on?
I'm not scared of anybody, especially the sister Abigail. She's just another thing I'll destroy. Baller, your nightmare is just beginning. <laughs> From where I'm standing, pray it's actually Sister Abigail's that's just beginning.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, if we thank you guys so much for coming out to ACW SmackDown, there are a lot of answers to be answered as next week we have the Royal Rumble and DK has just announced that he is targeting his former brother, Bray Wyatt. What is going to happen is DK actually going to choose he is going after Bray. If he wins the Royal Rumble, we'll have to find out next week as HCW's Royal Rumble rolls in to New Hampshire. Good night, everybody. We will see you all at the Royal Rumble next Wednesday night. Good night, everybody. We clear?